Hey guys, this is a proper task guide for down the rabbit hole part one. For this task, we do have to eliminate 15 scavs on woods and also obtain the encrypted drive. And then we have to survive an extract and hand the drive over to proper. Now, in the interest of your guys' time, then I will show you the locations for the drive first, since I am sure that that's what most of you are looking for. And just so you guys know, like most of the newer tasks, then this drive is a dynamic spawn, which means that it will not be in the same location every raid. And at the time of me making this video, then I am aware of eight different spawns. However, that can definitely change since I think they already did remove two of these spawns due to a bug issue and people not being able to pick up the drives in specific locations. So as of right now, I think that we are down to six, but I will still show you guys the location of the two bugged ones just so that you guys are aware. So here's a map of woods in the two areas where the drive can spawn are going to be in the northwest part of the map, firstly inside the scab bunker and then also at the Connex overlook just next to it. So I am here on woods and firstly we are going to be going into the scab bunker location where I will show you guys the three spawn locations. Just be aware that this area in general is being heavily ratted right now and especially inside the bunker itself due to this task. So I would definitely recommend that you clear around the bunker area as well as inside of it accordingly before you start searching for the drive. But once you head down then the first spawn to check is going to be in amongst the cardboard boxes underneath the left side of this table that's directly in front of you when you get down to the stairs. And it is actually easiest to check this spawn if you go into the far left corner here like I do and then check in between these two boxes. The second spawn down here is going to be inside of the furthest back room just next to the bunker door and it's actually going to be on top of the couch underneath of this pink cloth and this is actually where it did end up spawning for me in this guide video. The third and final spawn inside of the scab bunker is going to be on top of the table in this back room inside of the pot and while I was spawning into offline raids to try and find these spawns for you guys it did seem like it did spawn here the most for me so this could actually end up being the most prevalent spawn for this task. Now these are the three spawns that I could find in here, but there definitely could end up being more that I just wasn't able to find in the several offline raids that I did use to try and locate these. But if it's not here, then we will head back up and then out of the bunker area and then across the street to the Connex Overlook area. And then the next spawn that I'm gonna show you guys is inside this two-story prefab building on the right-hand side bed underneath the sheet. And it is gonna be located just to the left of the duffel bag if the duffel bag did end up spawning into this raid. Otherwise, there is a little ripple in the sheet where the drive will end up sitting there and I also do have a photo or a video here that will show you guys exactly what I mean and another potential spawn can be in the opposite side of the shack on top of this white stool in the left corner and it also can potentially spawn underneath the corner of this sleeping bag here however BSG may have removed this spawn underneath the corner of the sleeping bags due to them being bugged and people also not being able to pick them up if they were located in this location for the next spawns, then you do want to head back down to the ground level and then into the next prefab shack on your right hand side. Inside of here, then you should check on top of the square stool as well as in the corner of the sleeping bag that's just to the left of the stool. But again, this one may have been removed due to being buggy. And then the last spawn location that I know of at this time is going to be in the prefab shack that's at the top left of this area that overlooks the scav bridge scav extract. And inside of this shack that my buddy Gavin ended up finding it underneath the pillow at the far left end of the shack, just next to the valuable spawn location. But it is definitely possible that there are more spawns in this shack in particular, but just that we weren't able to get them to pop while we were searching. So if you did search all of these different locations and you haven't found it yet, then this shack may be the culprit. Now, if any of you who do happen to find additional spawns to these eight that I mentioned, then I would greatly appreciate you guys writing it in the comments of this video, since it definitely could help somebody else who views it before I have a chance to make an updated guide. And when you do find the drive, then you do have to survive an extract in order to be able to hand it over to proper. But if you do happen to die in between finding the drive and extracting, then you will have to come back to the area and find the drive all over again. And on top of this area being heavily ratted, or some people will try and deflect and call it tactically held, then you also have the chance of the goons being here. So it's definitely not a bad idea to bring some grenades or flashbangs with you to see if you can prompt their voice lines as you approach this area, just to give yourself a heads up. Now, as for the 15 scav kill portion of this task, then the best areas, in my opinion, for the scavs are going to be Scav Town, Med Camp, the Spine area, which is just below the big mountain, and also from Checkpoint to the outskirts. And then you can also get some scavs, which are going to be up around the area where you have to find the drives at the scav bunker and also the Connex Overlook, as well as at the abandoned village. I do have a video for the Tash Shootout Picnic, which does require you to kill 15 scavs on woods that demonstrates me going to each area if you guys wanted something more in depth. But I do have a picture up on the screen right now with the area circled, as well as the routes that I will typically use for woods when I am coming here with the primary intent of killing scavs, depending on my spawn. So hopefully you guys found this guide useful and it did help you to complete this task. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. And if you're still here at the end, then I definitely appreciate you. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. 
So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description. And we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels. So there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.